John, what information and data is available comparing the cost of a program like this to so-called catch and kill and more conventional TNR? Hi again, thank you. Um, there isn't a ton of data, but I'm going to share with you a couple things um, that I do know. In particular, I want to look at my own organization. And so what you can see on this slide, it, this is actually a slide I used to talk about what it costs to do large-scale lethal control. And, and the way I talk about that is by breaking down what it costs us to take care of a cat. So that's take a cat in the shelter, care for it for several days, and ultimately euthanize it. And that average cost for us comes out to about $233. You can see it's the second to last number. And so um, the, the opposing cost for us, just to spay neuter, is about $65 for a cat. So right there you can see there's a significant cost savings. But the greatest cost savings you're going to see from a program like an SNR or high levels of TNR that reduce the intake of cats is the savings from that. So for example, in San Jose, uh, after three plus years of this program, we're taking in 3,000 fewer cats than we did those three years ago when we started. If you just do simple math and say each cat only costs you $100 to care for, that would be a savings of $300,000 for cats that we don't have to care for anymore. And that's the kind of money um, that can really make a difference, and that's the kind of uh, argument you can use, a, a, a solid dollars argument with uh, government officials or other agencies that you're trying to convince to, to do this. Because the purpose, remember here, with these kind of programs is to reduce the number of cats going into the system. 